One of the biggest problems with contact sports is the whole contact part. Players are slamming into each other, heads are hitting, hammies are being pulled, whatever a hammy is. Now, when it comes to bumps on your noggin, one group of innovators has come up with a smart way to tell if your head isn't swell. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. I think I pulled something. A severe blow to your head could cause what is known as a concussion, a traumatic brain injury that can affect your brain's ability to function. Symptoms of a concussion include problems with memory, balance, coordination, and headaches. The challenge with concussions is accurately detecting them in the first place. The most prevalent measurement tool is a 25-minute questionnaire. The current estimate on the rate that we're catching them, we only get 16% of occurrences of concussion. So there's 84% of concussions that we are missing right now. I traveled to Lafayette, Indiana to visit Purdue University and meet student-turned-entrepreneur Curtis Sluice, who developed a faster and more accurate way to detect human concussions with a mobile app he calls Brightlamp. So everything happens right in this phone? Yeah, all you have to do is download the software on your phone, open up the application, and you get this viewfinder that you just need to hold up to an individual's eye, take the test. So can we try the test on me? Yeah, we can. Okay. So I'm gonna have you uh, hold your eye open. Okay. It will administer a flash, and it'll be a mm -hmm. five-second video test. So here we go. a little go. scary. Oh, that's all right. Our first foray into this space is measuring something called your pupillary light reflex, which is your pupil's response to a flash of light. We analyze that as a biomarker, and then we can correlate it to a number of different things. What is a biomarker? A biomarker is essentially a body's response to something that's occurring inside of you, right? So it gives us insight on what is occurring with your biology. So what are we looking at here? So this is the video that's taken on the phone. And some of the information that we get is, you know, how long does it take for your eye to actually respond to that flash of light? So how slow is your brain operating? So the light from the camera triggers a series of responses in your eye that essentially give you a window into the brain. It is exactly as people pin it, where the eyes are the window of the soul, but really it's the window to the brain. <laughs> wow. And as camera technology improves, do you expect to be able to gather more information? Part of what we've discovered is that there's more to your iris constricting, redilating than just like a smooth line. It fluctuates, right? We're already picking that up. So the more that cameras progress in phones, the more of that information we can get and the higher our accuracies will be. Curtis claims Brightlamp approaches a 98% accuracy rate. The other advantage to using it is the cost savings. The technology that you can go out there and use is $9,000 plus. We are taking something that is inaccessible and is expensive and then making it better, building off of it and putting on a mobile device. Other feature applications include monitoring intoxication levels and locating strokes in the brain. Brightlamp is currently awaiting approval from the Food and Drug Administration. We project in you know a year and a half to two years a consumer-ready concussion technology that soccer moms and soccer dads can use on field to help their kids. And even though my concussion test came out negative, it's comforting to know that now your phone can monitor both your social media and your physical well-being at the same time. <laughs>